People want to be alert, and so they go to medications. We see people that are using pills that are energy pills that make them feel good, and then it got into the beverage industry, where now some 25% of beverages sold are energy drinks. It's multi-billion dollar industry, and so it's very, very important. The energy shots that we have, Coca-Cola's that we have, super drinks that we have, uh, Jolt came out with a lot of calcium, Monster Drinks, a Red Bull, all of these have caffeine. Everybody knows the side effects of caffeine, or most people do. It, if you drink too much of it, it can make you nervous, it can make your heart go fast, it's a diuretic. Uh, if you drink too much of it, it can cause irregular heart rhythm. A cup of coffee has about 100 milligrams, so let's say 100 units for a cup of coffee. A Coca-Cola? has about 35. A shot of five hour energy drink has about 100, 150 milligrams of caffeine. We're now getting more drinks that have up to 200 milligrams of caffeine. And if somebody got hooked and wanted to stay up or they were in a party and they started over drinking the caffeine, serious side effects could occur. Now, people that drink five, six, seven, eight cups of coffee a day, a day uh, that's a lot of caffeine. However, they do okay on that. You get hooked on it. If you try and get off of it, you get headache and nausea. If you're using more than a total of six to eight cups of coffee per day, or if you're using the five-hour shot using more than six or eight a day, you need to think about cutting back. It could be harming your health and actually can cause heart problems that could kill you.